guys so in this video uh, we try to compute the center of the uh, dihedral group okay so let me just uh, remind you guys suppose someone give you a group G then uh, ZG basically is the all element which commute with the other element so GX equals to XG okay for all X and G okay and uh, so one simple fact is that uh, G is abelian then uh, this will imply ZG is just right because if it's abelian then anything is coming right ZG is G and uh, so conversely this is also true right if ZG is G then uh, definitely G is abelian okay but uh, but now uh, we are trying to compute the uh, center of the dihedral group dihedral group okay so let me just write down the standard definition Right, so the standard definition for the dihedral group is dn, right, can be written as the alpha beta. So alpha beta is a generator. So you can view there's a element alpha and beta and alpha n equals to beta square equals to one. Right, and the beta alpha beta equals to uh, alpha inverse. Okay. And uh, okay, so the fact is that uh, the center of the dn, which is one so basically a trivial group if n is odd so n is one ma two if n is even then the then it should be contains two elements so one and uh, it should be alpha uh, n half okay okay uh let me check okay so now uh, we can prove it mm. Okay, so uh, since we only we already know that Z n is generated, uh, we know that Z n is generated by this alpha beta, right? So, so that means what? That means uh, any element in so suppose Z is belongs to Z n, so that means any element can be written as the alpha i times beta j, right? By definition, and uh, so it commutes. So this x commute with any uh, any element right so x commute with alpha so x alpha equals to alpha x right but this give you what this give you like uh, let me see alpha i beta j alpha equals to alpha i plus one j beta right so beta j and uh, okay so that means we can delete right so we can cancel this so we have the beta uh, j alpha equal to alpha beta j, right? So if j equals to 1, right, then we will have beta alpha equal to alpha beta, right? Which is not okay, right, for uh, a larger than 3. Okay, so the, the simple, I mean, uh, the fact is that uh, from the definition, you can show that the d1 is trivial. Uh, let me see. Uh, the low, the low should be D two, right? D two is just secretly, uh, D D two is a group with all the two n, right? So D two is abelian. Okay, so D three is non uh non abelian, right? Which is isomorphic to the symmetric uh group with the permutation uh permute three elements. So when so for n larger than three, then this, then this is uh, right, and uh, this is. Uh, this will give you this right alpha beta alpha equals alpha beta and then we can see that uh, this is alpha inverse beta and alpha equals to uh right so we can delete uh let me see sorry so okay so this uh beta alpha since alpha okay so since beta alpha beta is alpha inverse right so this beta and the beta inverse is beta, right? So beta alpha is alpha inverse beta. So if we put in, then we have uh, beta alpha equals alpha inverse beta equals alpha beta, right? So this gives you alpha inverse equals to alpha, right? So if n is then, okay, so now we have the result that uh, basically, uh, alpha square, which is, uh, which is the 
uh, which is identity, right? But 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 as I said, if n is larger than uh, three, then uh, this can uh, this cannot happen. This cannot happen. Okay, so so that means what? So that means that means if x belongs to z n, then x cannot be the form of this, right? Can there, so the there's there so j can uh, must be zero. So it must be zero. Okay, so now we we come to the second part. So uh. If x belongs to a uh, center of the dn, then uh, x must be a form of like alpha i, right? Okay, so this alpha i also need to commute with beta, right? So we have alpha i beta equals beta alpha i. And then this can be written as the alpha n minus i beta, right? So this just follow from the, uh, follow from the definition. Right, so this will give you alpha i equals to alpha n minus i. Right, so this gives you like uh, so okay, so this is alpha n alpha minus i. Right, so alpha uh, two i equals to alpha n, which is identity. So that means alpha two i is, is identity. Okay. So yeah, e is identity. Identity. Okay. So now, uh. Okay. So now. So now, uh, if n is odd, then the only uh, solution, right? The only solution uh, for it is only i equals to zero, right? Because n, if if n is odd, right? Then then you 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 already have odd for some odd number which is one, right? But so there's no no hope that there's exists some non-trivial i which two i is even, right? Because it, which is identity. Because these two i need to fact need to be the factor of the n. So when n is odd, then the only solution is i equals zero. Uh, when n is even, then there's a hope. There's a another solution which i equals zero or i equals n over two. N over two. Since n is even. Okay, then that's the solution. And uh, the only two elements, the uh, only group of two elements, which is z two, right? So now we have the answer. Go back to our original results. If n is odd, then uh, it's a trivial group. If n is even, which is the Sigley group Z2. Okay, so this is the uh, the center of the dihedral group. Okay, that's it. And uh, I will see you guys in other videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.